Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 23475. It's a very interesting build for the dev channel because in this build we have quite a few interesting new additions and features that we can encounter in this build. So if you want to see all of that, make sure to watch this video until the end. If you enjoy videos like these in which we talk about different Windows 11 Insider preview builds, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, we have some great news regarding the file explorer. We have the new file explorer homepage and address bar. Those are official now and they are slowly rolling out. But of course, if you don't have them yet on your dev channel build, I'm going to make a different video in the coming days in which I show you how to enable these. So now that file explorer is powered by Windows app SDK, Microsoft is introducing a modernized file explorer home powered by UNUI. Recommended files for users signed into Windows with an Azure Active Directory directory account will be displayed as well. Also quick access folders available by default for users signed it into Windows with a Microsoft account. Favorites and recent also bring in an updated experience with new UI. So as you can see in this homepage, everything is bigger, the icons and also these sections, but they are looking better. I think they have nice animations right in corners and they go better with the Windows 11 experience. And also regarding the address bar, Microsoft is introducing a modernized address bar and search box to the file explorer. The new address bar recognizes is local versus cloud folders with built-in status for OneDrive users. You'll notice the address bar now contain your OneDrive sync status and quota flyout. I think this is pretty interesting. And as I've said, this is slowly rolling out, but we are finally closer to the end result of how the new file explorer will look in Windows 11 23H2. Another new addition in this build is some more settings and options for dynamic lighting inside personalization and dynamic lighting. Using this, Microsoft seeks to improve the RGB device and software ecosystem for users. And if you'll check the official article from the Microsoft website, you'll notice a list of compatible devices at the moment, but I'm sure that they will add more to that list. But now let's talk about a few settings from here. So for example, we have use dynamic lighting on my devices, compatible apps in the foreground, always control lighting, background light control, and we have the dynamic lighting background controller. But of course, we don't have any compatible devices connected to the system and also change the brightness of your lights. And we can also do that. And effects, we also have some effects, choose color, themes and effect for your lighting solid color you can select blank rainbow and rainbow reverse along with colors that you can custom select I think this is great and uh, this is a nice addition into windows 11 in the build 23475 the feature where microsoft now detects if the user is interacting with toast or not and provide a suggestion to turn the toast banner off for such apps that began rolling out with build 23466 is now available to all windows insiders in the dev channel and also the unicode emoji 15 is beginning to roll out to windows insiders in the dev channel users will now be able to see search for and insert new emoji from the emoji panel and you'll be able to see on the screen some of the new emoji 15 designs which include more hearts animals and one new smiley face we also have an update for the Microsoft Store so to get it of course you're gonna have to open up the Microsoft Store then go into the library section and make sure you click on get updates to install all the latest updates related to the Microsoft Store related also to the apps installed through the Microsoft Store so just wait a bit for all the updates to be installed and in this update you'll now be able to install free apps and games from search results. This is slowly rolling out to insiders and also new designs for game and movie cards. So Microsoft is now adding some more designs for game and movie cards with more room and colors to add to the experience. And I think that is pretty nice. So that's it related to new features and changes in this build. Now let's talk about a few fixes. We have a fix regarding the taskbar and system tray. They fix an issue where the taskbar may not have shown the correct apps when using multiple desktops. Regarding search on the taskbar, fix the issue where narrator customers were unable able to navigate down the left side panel of the search flyout regarding the start menu, fix an issue where when using a Japanese display language, sometimes apps with names written in kanji would all show at the bottom of the all apps list rather than displayed alongside hiragana and katakana app names. Regarding notifications, they fix an issue where certain notifications were leading to an exploited EC crash. Regarding input, Microsoft is rolling out the fix for an issue where Korean touch keyboard sometimes finalizes characters unexpectedly in the search flyout on the taskbar. Regarding back 
backup and restore backups of a pc that was set up using a restore will now show up in subsequent restores and also restore if a solid color desktop backgrounds are now supported and we also have another fix fixed issues that were causing voice access commands for moving settings sliders and selecting things on the taskbar to fail so this is basically the build that Microsoft released for the dev channel this week i think this is a great one and of course if you want to see more information about it check out the article below in the video's description if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one i was Imani from tech base until next time have a nice day